We are loaded up, heading out on the annual pike fishing trip. I've got a guest with me today, my dad. I'm gonna go meet Elliot and his family here in a couple hours. I always just throw the potatoes on the charcoal okay. themselves. We got them buttered and salt and pepper and ready to roll. Wow, we came in just in time. Hey! Yeah, how's it going? Hey. Good to see ya. Yep. Well, we made it. We are back in the beautiful Nebraska sand hills for the third annual pike fishing trip. So, hopefully this wind will die down this afternoon or evening and uh, we can go catch some pike. Or a fish, I guess. I guess that camp up first though. Here's camp for the next couple days. That's gonna do it for today. It is absolutely gorgeous out here now. Tomorrow we're not supposed to have hardly any wind. Perfect for kayak fishing. And we had a big cold front come through. Elliot and the rest of them, they caught three bass today and that was it. No other fish, had a few other bites, but no pike. Hopefully with the no wind, it's supposed to warm up a little bit more tomorrow. Hopefully that's the ticket and we can finally catch some pike. Morning is here. We are up bright and early and headed out here. There is not a wave on the water. Hopefully the fish cooperate. Predictions, Elliot? <laughs> After yesterday, uh, two to three each. Pike or bass? I think we'll probably catch more bass than pike. As long as we catch something. Yeah. <laughs> If everyone catches a fish, I'll be happy after yesterday. <laughs> I think we're going to have a good day. I think we need to keep most of everything we catch right off the bat, though. If we're going to have a fish fry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Elliot caught a pike, so we're not going hungry today. This doesn't look too bad over here. Switching it up. We're going to try the old chatterbait here. Just like that. Had a daredevil on. We might come back to that, but we'll give this a go for now. Oh, there we go. There we go. What do we got here? I think so. Yeah, nice pike. Chatterbait. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's a good pike. Holy cow. Come on. No, he doesn't. But that's okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> there we go. Chatterbait! Yeah. That's a good pike. He's probably, I don't know, 25, at least 25, probably bigger than that, even. Chatterbait. 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 <laughs> yeah, we won't go hungry. He might be about 30. Probably not quite that long, though. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, I just had one. Just had a bite. I think there's a pike over there in here somewhere. Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, I just had a pike. Oh. He spit it out, but yeah, only half a foot of water. Oh my gosh. He just, I don't know where he even came from. He just raced out. Dang, wish I could have landed him. He looked like a nice one. So that's about a little after 10 o'clock and Dad still hasn't caught one. I've only caught one. I've had a couple bites. From the sounds, it sounds like Elliot and all of them were catching some pike. So, I don't know how many fish we have total, but I've got one. All right, it is getting close to lunchtime. My dad hasn't caught a fish yet. He's still over here trying. Said he had one bite. I've had like two or three bites and then one that I actually landed. Those pike, they can, they, they are notorious for that, so. But, I did catch this guy. He is a little over 32, and that is my biggest pike I've ever caught. So, only like the, I don't know, ninth pike I've ever caught or something, so. Get my PB. Hopefully catch some more. A master angler pike would be awesome, but I'm not gonna complain about catching this guy. It's a pretty good fight. And I think Elliot and them, I think they caught, from the sounds of it, we kind of split up, but it sounded like they caught a couple pretty nice pike too, so we should have enough for a fish fry, hopefully. What were you using, Dad? A spoon? Oh yeah. Hey y'all. Yeah, he's not he's not that big. Yeah, he wasn't very big. Pike out of the new lake. My dad caught. Those spoons without barbs worked pretty darn good. Well, that might be a keeper. Oh. Holy fuck. Don't, don't horse him. No. He's coming back around here. Just tire him out. <laughs> he's running. Oh, he's getting in that moss. That's not good. No. Haven't seen him yet. That's a keeper. Uh, yeah, ain't, ain't what I thought. He's not as big. No. Oh, don't mean to net him. I don't care. I can net him pretty easy. It's a lot easier. To have. Maybe. Oh, I bet he goes. He's 25. Get him. He's probably 25, I'd say. No, that's that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Same thing I was throwing most of the morning. What? I don't I'll let you get him. I want you to take him off. Well, I guess I could. That's a good one. He'll eat. You got it tied on. Mm-hmm. 
I guess this is the pattern, so. Yeah. And I got a couple on the truck. If those guys come we'll find out. Okay. I'll bet. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh. Gosh dang it. I had one on. Let me spit it out. It wasn't a big one, but though. How cool is that? Bunch of geese and their babies. Just swimming around. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> on his last cast! I thought it was going to be one, but it took two casts. I want to catch one in front of Elliot just to add insult to injury. What a jerk, man. <laughs> what a... Yeah, I've been over there fishing that spot for like an hour. You warmed him up. <laughs> but I suck. That's what it tells me. <laughs> but I didn't, need, I didn't need that evidence to know what I already knew. Oh, man. <laughs> Ringing up the rear is my dad, but he also oh, caught the pike most. On this one, right? Yeah, I think he did. He catch the most pike here. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Done here. We caught four, five fish, I think. Four pike and a bass. Now we're gonna go back to camp and go cook them up. Fish fry time. Courtesy of Chef Elliot. <laughs> Not many of these are mine. Yeah, but you're cooking them up for us. None of them are mine. That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't catch them, I might as well help cook them. The chef says we're ready. Let's take a look. Ooh. Some lakeside dining here. All Great. right, moment of truth. Here we go. Look at that. Very little. Less. That's why we do it. Well, that's going to do her for the pike trip. Elliot and them are already long gone. My dad and I went out this morning just to see if we couldn't catch a few more pike or bass or anything. Caught one bass and one bluegill, and that was it. So, not too exciting a morning. But uh, still a fun time, you know, always a fun time coming up here and catching pike and bass and all that. And uh, I mean, you can't beat the scenery. The Nebraska Sandhills is just absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't matter if it's winter, spring, summer. I mean, it's like heaven in my book, you know, this, it, it's, it's some of the most beautiful country you're ever going to see. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll catch you out there. See ya.